and it's, um, it's a complete studio in software which allows you to manipulate and to filter and to, to also use kind of uh, sounds that they have in a library and uh, this band Scratch Petland had recommended it on the website and I bought it and so I, I ended up using that a huge amount, just the, the incredible filters and um, speeding up, slowing down effects. It's kind of like a sampler but, but you can you have much more hands-on kind of effect. Also I used a software um, software theremin which uh, I just downloaded from the internet which uh, I mean I have a real theremin too but uh, how does a so uh, software theremin work? I mean, I it's just um, it's just a uh, an instrument that you uh, can play with dragging your mouse around rather than dragging your hand around it's just a, it's a downloadable synthesizer I can show you that it's fun. Um. The search is really slow as well. I know it's 10, isn't it? <laughs> I hear this my phone. find yourself reverting back to nine sometimes? Well, I do when I have to, like if I want to download my digital photographs from my camera, I really have to go and start up under iOS 9, but um, for general use, I, I'm very superficial in the way that I actually like aesthetics over, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> practicality, so I, I like the little coloured dots at the top of the window bar, and, and uh -huh. if I don't see those, I start thinking, damn, I'm not, I'm not up to the minute, so I'm just probably your typical Mac user, you know, sort of superficial and trendy and prefers color to uh, use value. Yeah. <laughs> Give me those like color dynamics. Yeah. So, um, here we have um, Mr. Theremin himself. You can actually, there's a weirdness factor here, you can put the weirdness way up. I always put the weirdness up on my records. You can have a break beat if you want, but it's not, not recommended. Mm -hmm. 